it's time for a solo hike. And this time I'm hiking the Beacons Way. So the Beacons Way is a 99 mile trail and it sort of snakes itself all the way through the Brecon Beacons, east to west. And I've started at the east and the official start point was uh, the Abu Ghavini uh, train station. Um, so I've just worked my way out of Abu Ghavini now, or Abu Ghavini. This should be a lot of fun and it makes sense just to wild camp every night. Just get yourself out in nature, just get yourself closer to nature and a campsite. You don't really get that. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to this. So it's just gone half past 12 uh, and I've only gone one and a half miles out of Abu Ghavini. So I'm on two miles and I found my first way marker that says the Beacons Way, which is awesome. That means I'm going the right way, but it's taken two miles to see one, but it looks like we are going to be signposted. Working my way along this really narrow, narrow path now. I can hear the croaking of a raven. So yeah, really looking forward to just being immersed in nature now for the next week or so. I'm not going to be cooking anything on this trip. It's all going to be cold food. Uh, I might go into a few places and buy some pub food, but um, it's going to be very simple. Just got wraps and some cheese. Just fold them up. It's a uh, very simple food on this trip. But they're tasty. It's very peaceful here. Now climbing up, I think it's called Skirid, Skirid 4. It's got a different name on the map, but I read another little board that said it, this is the mountain Skirid 4. Uh, it's like the last little outcrop of the Black Mountains, or well, the first little outcrop for me. And it's 486 meters. And it started off quite gradual at the moment, um, but I think there's gonna be some steep steps coming. It's a tough climb up, but look at that view. It is incredible. You can see England over there. That's the first climb complete and the first summit of the first mountain and it looks like the Beacons Way sort of includes all the, all the, well most of the mountains and the cool things to see in the Beacons. There they are, so that's where I'm heading to that point there that represents what the edge of the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains and I'm hoping to camp up there tonight there's nothing more reassuring 
and seeing a, an arrow with the name of the trail that you're hiking <laughs> it gives you a little bit of reassurance that you're on the right way and if you haven't seen a little arrow for a while it gives me a bit of anxiety <laughs> and I have to check the map to make sure that I'm uh, going the right way and I've just realised that I've just climbed over this style and there's a gate right here that's open so that's just me not paying attention and talking to you lovely people watching climbing up into the Black Mountains now, a bit out of breath and that behind me, that there, that little peak, that Skirid 4 which I climbed earlier and I think it's really nice when you can look back and look where you've come from. I'm just coming into Clamthony Priory now and this is the remains of it and it's huge <laughs> it is pretty epic So I left the Priory now, heading back up into the Black Mountains and got a bit, quite a big climb coming up. Um, but that Priory, it dates back to 1108 when they first built a church and that's on that site. And walking around it, it's so peaceful and a little bit eerie, but I was just kind of in awe at how they build something like that hundreds of years ago. Those big archways, it must have taken so many people it's quarter past seven now, so I've got quite a big climb. I'm gonna try and find somewhere to wild camp up the top of the mountain somewhere. Whew. And Brucey Bonus, they had a public toilet in the, in the car park at the Priory, which was always very nice when you need to go. 
and topped up all the water as well, which is awesome. So, nearly at the top now, sort of leveling out. Um, this doesn't look good for wild camping at the moment. It's just like thick bracken. So hopefully, there's lots of little flies around here. So hopefully it opens up somewhere, get a little bit of flat ground. It's half past eight now. Take the bag off and made it 17.2 miles today. And considering I started at 12 o'clock, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, so I found a nice little flat bit of grass, and it's good as well because I've dropped down a little bit, so it's not very windy here at all. And uh, yeah, the views are lovely. It's just me and some sheep. <laughs> and I'm just going to put my tent up now. Before it gets dark. <laughs> These sheep are really loud. So I've got the tent up now. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get really dark here now. <laughs> These sheep are being really loud. So yeah, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Get in the tent and uh, probably listen to the sheep bleating whilst I fall asleep. <laughs> Funny sheep. <laughs> 